Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. And um, today I thought I'd do a video on the subject of an enlarged heart. Um, a lot of people are referred to me, uh, or a lot of people I speak to say they've been told by their GP that they have an enlarged heart. And of course that causes a lot of concern because people don't actually understand what an enlarged heart really means and what it signifies. So the first thing to understand is that how does this diagnosis come about? Why do people get told they have an enlarged heart? Uh, and usually it's because the GP will have looked at a chest X-ray and the shadow of the heart on the X-ray looks a bit bigger than uh, normal, okay? And what is normal? Generally, they say that the heart should be half, around about half, the shadow of the heart should be around about half the size of the whole of the chest wall. And if it looks bigger than that, then people say, oh, that could signify an enlarged heart. It doesn't automatically mean that you have an enlarged heart. Um, remember, it's just a shadow, and shadows can change depending on the projection, etc. So whilst it's not unreasonable to look a little bit further, it doesn't signify necessarily that you have an enlarged heart. The second way that people sometimes look at um, uh, a test and say someone may have an enlarged heart is they look at the ECG and if the ECG shows that the uh, complexes are very big then some people think oh well the complexes are so big that there must be a lot of heart muscle to go through and that's why they look big and that can signify an enlarged heart again it doesn't necessarily signify a heart, enlarged heart it can just be because you have a thin wall if you're a thin person there's a lot less skin tissue and muscle tissue to go through before you reach the heart and therefore relatively the impulse through the heart muscle will look bigger so uh, a lot of people who are told they have enlarged hearts may not necessarily have an enlarged heart the second thing to say is that um, if you have an enlarged heart i wouldn't worry too much about it all you need to do is to have a heart scan an echocardiogram where someone can shine, shine sound waves on the heart and that will tell you whether the heart is enlarged or not the third thing to say is it's important to understand what an enlarged heart means even if you do have an enlarged heart there are two ways the heart can be enlarged okay um the first is uh, and 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 those two separate ways are point to two separate mechanisms and two separate uh, um, underlying processes that can cause the heart to enlarge okay the first is that the heart can be thickened I, it can be more muscular uh, and it usually becomes more muscular if it's having to work against a higher pressure uh, so if you have high blood pressure or if you have a tight heart valve through which the heart has to work really hard that can cause the heart to thicken and that makes it look more muscular if it's more muscular then when you have an ECG there's more muscle for the impulses to go the electricity to go through and therefore the impulses will look big uh, and that's called left ventricular hypertrophy the heart looks more muscular all right uh, it is not actually an enlarged heart it's a more muscular heart why is it important if your heart muscle is thickened well it tells you that the heart is working harder than it needs to all right now the problem is that if it gets more and more muscular then it's going to need more and more blood but there's only a certain amount of blood that's um, that's present so having a very thick heart is bad for two reasons one it's going to ask for more blood and it may not get it two as it gets uh, thicker and thicker it can sometimes outstrip it blood uh, outstrip its blood supply and then paradoxically get weaker and weaker so even though it's a response to, it's like a, a a bodybuilder you know he's doing more and more work but at some point if you don't uh, take that weight off him his heart his his muscles will actually start getting weaker uh, because he just cannot sustain it beyond a certain point so it's always a good idea if you have an if you have a thickened heart muscle uh, to get it to identify why the heart muscle is thickened some people have a thickened heart muscle because there is some genetic abnormality within the muscle and the muscle just becomes thicker unfortunately in these people the muscle is not stronger it's weaker and those are the people who have something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy i they've inherited this abnormal gene which causes the heart muscle to get much thicker but actually it's not 
not good muscle that's um, that's within the heart and that can cause the heart to weaken uh, as time progresses so though that's when the heart muscle is thickened then you have another type um, of enlarged heart which is truly an enlarged heart which is when the heart is getting the the pump is getting bigger and bigger and that usually happens if the um, uh, that usually happens if for two reasons okay one the heart has been damaged in some way so what happens if the heart has been damaged because you've had a heart attack or there's been a virus that's affected the heart the heart pumps less blood out uh, because the heart pumps less blood out the kidneys get less blood the kidneys get less blood they're incredibly sensitive so they absorb more urine they absorb more water to try and restore the circulating volume uh, and so now there's more blood that's going in within the heart uh, but again, the heart is weak, so it's not pumping out as much. Again, the kidneys get less, they absorb more. And so you get into this vicious cycle where you're getting more and more and more fluid or more and more blood, so to speak. You, you develop a condition of volume overload. You have a lot more volume within the body. Now, the heart is a little bit like, um, as I always say, it's like a bag of rubber bands, okay? You stretch it and it comes back far, uh, harder. You stretch it even further, it'll come back even harder. But at some point, if you stretch it too much, it actually loses its elasticity and becomes weaker. So that's one of the problems. So the heart gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, the other thing that can do it is a leaky valve. If you have a leaky valve, then that can cause the heart to, um, you know, because basically instead of all the blood coming out, some leaks back. So therefore less blood is going to the kidneys. The kidneys absorb more. More blood comes back to the heart. But again, the heart pumps less blood goes out more blood leaks back and you get into this vicious cycle uh, and if that is the case then what you want to do is you want to start some treatment or get any kind of leaking or etc uh, uh, treated uh, before the heart enlarges to the point where it loses its elasticity because once that happens it tends to be irreversible in a lot of cases so you don't want that to happen but as i say not everyone who is told they have an enlarged heart has an enlarged heart, so please don't worry about it even if you are told it. Uh, it's usually something that tends to affect older people, people who have had heart disease, but it is always a good idea to go and organize for yourself to have a heart scan that will clarify matters and put your mind at ease. So I hope this helps. Um, I'll just, um, uh, this is me, all right, uh, and this is my website. And this is my Facebook page. And you can ring my long-suffering secretary, Jeanette, on this number. Um, one last thing. I'm, I'm really grateful to you for all the wonderful feedback that you send me. I'm grateful for the questions. I'm sorry I've been so busy and I haven't been able to answer your queries. And I will try as soon as I get some time off. We have now started a new channel as well called More Than Just Medicine. And I've gotten along with one of my colleagues, Simon Smales. And we hope through this channel to bring you lots of good, high-quality information from a range of specialists um, um, from all fields. So I deal with heart things, but I have a colleague who deals with stomach issues, and then we can always get people who deal with, you know, rheumatological issues, etc. just so that you have one place uh, where you can get uh, lots of good, reliable information. Uh, because I find often that people <laughs> type into Google and often uh, get so scared because there's such a variety of different information there. So I hope this helps. Um, please consider visiting and subscribing to More Than Just Medicine, uh, which is a channel on YouTube. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Many thanks. All right. Take care. Bye.